This video is brought to you by Sporlin. Quality, integrity, tradition. What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in today. I was very excited yesterday to receive a package from True Tech Tools, the best source for tools catering to the HVAC technician. I received the Pro Evacuation Kit from True Blue made by AccuTools and delivered, procured by True Tech Tools. I've heard a lot of buzz about these things and I am ready to give them a shot. That said, I put a lot of time into constructing the evacuation kit that I built last year using the Appian hoses and making a custom kit that fit into a five gallon bucket. I kind of combined it with my recovery bucket to make a one stop shop for all of those phases, leak checking, evacuation, and recovery. But now with the True Blue kit, it comes with an extremely big rugged case so I am gonna split back into a two kit system. I'll keep the five gallon bucket for recovery and I will use the True Blue kit for evacuations. Anyways, I thought I'd take you guys along as I go ahead and kind of sort through and figure out how I'm gonna customize this kit to fit my needs. Again, if you're new to my channel, I try to make great, entertaining, and informative videos that cater to the HVAC apprentice, pre-apprentice, or technician. Please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell to get alerts when I drop new content. Now let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start out by grabbing some unused clear tackle box like containers. One of these should work out pretty good, but we'll figure it out as we go. I'll go ahead and I'll grab my True Blue evacuation kit. It comes in this great, really, really heavy duty case. I will get my other evacuation slash recovery kit that I made. And one of my parts containers. I got a lot of brass uh, fittings and hose repair, stuff like that. Things I'm gonna want in this kit. Let's open it up, see what we got. This is the kit itself. Very nice, very well made. Everything's really heavy duty. You got your quarter inch core tools. This is where the micron gauge will go. It's in the mail right now. I've got it coming. Um, extra gaskets for the hoses. Uh, here's your T. Here's your T fitting. This is if you're gonna manifold both hoses to one uh, connection on your vacuum pump. And these are the stainless steel clamps. These are the really heavy duty ones that will um, allow you to attach different size fittings to your hoses. Really customizable for any application. You can see the heavy duty one clamped here. I've got my, uh, I believe that's the 3 8 fitting clamped on to go on one of my ports on uh, the vacuum pump. You can see on the quarter inch side, I use the lighter duty clamps they provide. This lets you get into tighter spaces without the big bulky one. And I believe I've got my half inch on that side. So a very comprehensive kit, well-made, heavy duty. Um, I also got another set of the hoses as well, because if I'm ever going to use this on chiller repairs, uh, I'd like to be able to couple a couple hoses together and get some additional length to reach some of the um, service valves on the barrels. So we'll go ahead and we'll crack this open and see what I can take from my old evacuation kit. The bucket will just end up being a recovery bucket again. Um, that was my original intention anyway, to have a bucket for each, and then I ended up just kind of combining it. So as you can see, I try to keep everything you need for pressure testing, recovery, and evacuation in there. But now I will take what I need for vacuum. So I'm gonna grab the 516's core removal tools. I don't know if AccuTools makes one yet. Uh, so I will add my Appians to the kit for now. I will take my Micron gauge that I currently use and I'll keep it in the kit as a backup after I get the new one in. Um, I also have the Micron gauge that connects to the P51870 from Yellow Jacket. So it's just a third opinion. I keep it as a third backup. Two is one, one is none, three is for me. So um, it's been a pretty cool manifold so far and it does have an evacuation feature. So the uh, micron gauge is not in the manifold itself. It, it just sends feedback to the logic, I guess, of the manifold. I'm gonna take my uh, Schrader core tensioning tool, my service wrench, adapter, the gasket removal tool that you saw with the blue handle. 
and then my uh, my adapters to, to get micron gauges on the side ports of those core removal tools. I got a couple. I got Yellow Jackets and I have AccuTools version of it. I'll, uh, let's see, I'm going to take a couple of these core removal tool repair kits, new O-rings and stuff like that. And that's probably about all I'm going to take from the kit. I'm going to leave everything else because I want to be able to repair hoses on the fly, whether I'm recovering or evacuating, depending uh, what I'm going to be into. So uh, let's get the little tools I pulled into this center area. Get the repair kits down here somewhere. And we'll go ahead and we'll get into my brass kit here and hose repair kit. So uh, I'll grab another little those little plastic core tool removers just in case another backup get a good little handful of um, some half inch or excuse me 3 8 caps some 5 16 caps anytime I come across a unit with the plastic ones I try to replace them and we'll get some 5 16 for the mini splits the VRF equipment stuff like that Big old handful of Trader Cores. Get some depressors. And a variety of gaskets. Again, 3 8 5 16 quarter inch, the usual suspects. So, we're going to get this case into the kit soon, but for now I'm going to put the other tools in that didn't fit into the parts tray. So, my, my 5 16 core tools and my backup micron gauges, we'll tuck those into the open space there. But as far as the clear case, it doesn't look like it's going to fit. Um, I'm going to make a space for it in the foam. So, we'll do a cutout and we'll see what we can get as far as clearance. I don't think it should interfere with the micron gauge. This probably isn't the best way to do this, safest or uh, cleanest, but it's just what I had at the moment. So we'll see how it comes out. insert popped out it was kind of only glued on the corners there so I'll have to use a hot glue gun or something to get that more secured after I um, finish up here so I almost forgot before I put that in the hole I'm gonna throw some extra triple A's into the kit so um, I don't have any nuisance uh, power failure on the micron gauge And it fits pretty snug. I'm, uh, I'm actually impressed how it came out. It looks pretty good. I uh, can't forget the nylog either. Make sure you throw a bottle in there. You still need it for your threaded connections, even though you don't need it on the, the quick flanges. And uh, some denatured alcohol in a clear container. That'll help you keep your micron gauges clean. This is, I used an old bottle of e-liquid for a vape mod. Of course, it's not mine, because that's for losers. Anyways, guys, I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm going to love this thing. It looks incredibly well built. Guys, when you spend this much money on a kit like this, make it work for you. Of course, if you're interested in picking up one of these kits, uh, you can obviously find it at where else? True Tech Tools, guys. I'll link to it below in the description. Guys, stay safe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.